before one can make a Drake type beat, one must become Drake. The first step is simple. One must practice their light skin face, speed and precision, and an element of surprise. One must also get in touch with their more sensitive side. The Notebook is a great option for this. If you're more into trilogies though, Twilight's a great option for this as well. Team Jacob, baby. Drake likes candles. So now you too must like candles. Just don't forget who you are. Cause there's only one you. And only one Drake. And one me. Think about it. Also, like and subscribe. Now let's get into the tutorial. Excuse the mess. There's a bunch of sound panels in the background right here. They are not just black picture frames or sound panels. So they kind of like absorb the sound in here. But to get started with this beat, we're going to use a BPM of 164. Really just look up a song that you like of his and see what BPM it is because he uses so many like different BPMs. So the first sound that I'm going to use is this sound from Pigments. It's called Borden. And then one thing, and this is like a key thing if you're making a Drake beat, is you don't want a bunch of high frequencies. I just went and cut out some of the high ends. You probably want to just cut out everything above like 5k is probably a good range. Another key thing to point out about this, this is just a major chord kind of broken apart. And this is a major like seventh chord broken apart. So if we were to just do this. So that's kind of how I picked those notes for this progression. Next sound I'm going to use is just a vocal from Analog Labs. And this one is good. I just played with some of the filters and whatnot, but it's very low frequency, kind of just almost sounds like an R&B sample type of sound. Is this so far? Can Drake rap on this? And what would he be saying? Dodger Stadium dinner for two. What's a grown man to do? I got my own jet. It's the OBO jet. Call me a little drizzy. That was all off the top of the dome, by the way. All right, so next thing that we're gonna wanna add is we're gonna wanna continue to kinda like fill this beat up, but we don't want any sharp sounds. You kind of want everything to melt together so you don't want a particular sound to like stand out to the point where it takes over the beat so I open the sound in arcade it's just this like whisper sound and now i'm just gonna add a sound that just plays at the start of every four bars Alright, so that's nice, and I might not even play those two sounds together, but it almost like resets each of the four bars, which is kind of cool. Now I want like another vocal sound, and this will probably play like during a breakdown in the beat, which is super easy to make, but you just want something that kind of changes it up. So I found this sound in Arcade called Mystify. Here's how the bass line sounds right here. I just moved the end notes right here, like up an octave towards the end, and then pause it right here, and it just sounds tight. Ooh, shit. All right, so now on to the drums. And for the drums, I'm going to be using my drum kit, the only drum kit, which you can get a free version in the description. So definitely check that out. But I'm gonna lay these drums out really quickly. And then I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of detail behind what I did and why I did it. And, you know, give you guys a little bit of sauce as well, especially for these types of beats and some things you probably haven't heard before, so.
for this 808 right here, I'm playing all of these notes right here. Notice that these aren't exactly on the root notes, but they are on some of the notes that I played. So that's a pretty good indication that it's going to sound good if you can keep them on some notes that you're playing in your melodies. And then another thing is I use a bunch of different hi-hats. This one, I just played with the velocities right here, and this just adds a lot of bounce. I like to do this in most of my beats. These ones right here, and these will play at the same time as some of the hi-hats that I just showed you. But it makes it sound a little bit louder, and it's a different sound, so it adds some additional bounce there, but still keeps it super simple. And right here, I just added some rolls and... I wanted them to be really quiet and kind of in the background and then I also lowered them down a couple octaves. Alright guys, so here is the full beat. Just feel free to take a look at how I arranged it in order to see what I did. Right here is the breakdown and you'll just notice that it's really bare before it loops back into the chorus again. Um, normally I wouldn't put the breakdown right after the chorus. This is just so you guys can hear it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you soon. Peace.